Hey everyone, we're playing some more Minecraft again. Today, I might be starting the biggest project I've ever embarked upon. I think it's going to be a good one, so let's just get started. Alright everybody, so I'm just going to get straight to it. What am I doing? I want to start a new base. And a lot of you might be completely confused because this is a new base. This was only done like, you know, 20 episodes ago. The back isn't even done though. You know, we've done nothing with the top of the dome. This is a new base, technically. Um, but here's the thing, this one is missing one critical component, and I'm just kind of getting bored of it, but it's missing one critical component, and this is something this base will never be able to give me, and that is an automatic item sorter slash, you know, automatic inventory system. I want to be able to place a shulker down, and I want all of the items to automatically separate into their, you know, proper chests, and just because of the way this base is set up, it, it, it'll be impossible to achieve because, you know, I have chests stacked on top of each other with different items and it just can't be achieved. But I'll explain it in more in a later episode. But really, it means I'm going to be starting a new base today and I want to get a large chunk of it done, including maybe the auto sorter. But we'll see how far we get into here. But but yeah, I guess let me go ahead. Let me gather some materials, hey everybody. So I've spent the past couple hours mining for some new materials that came out in the new update. Um, I've gotten a new fascination with Deep Slate and all of its forms. I just think it's basically an improved Blackstone, which makes me slightly bit sad because I would have rather made my entire dome out of the Deep Slate instead of the Blackstone. Um, but that's all right. That's a for a different story. But I spent the past couple, about, couple hours mining a whole ton of it. So you could see, um, okay, this is just some extra stuff. This is the tuff that I got and a couple of the materials that I got while mining. But this is really where we need to be looking here. So as you can see, I've got shulkers and shulkers and shulkers of a mix of the deep slate bricks, the deep slate tiles the polished deep slate and the normal cobbled deep slate because um what i want to try to do with my next build is do something that i've seen like a lot of the hermits do and i kind of want to get good at is you know when m making something okay this is like a terrible example but like you know all of these blocks pretty much go in together maybe i mean even the cobbled it's probably good it just needs to be maybe a little less used now, I'm doing this in a terrible fashion just because I'm doing it so quickly. But the point is just to, you know, have a form of diversity in blocks. And even and if I wanted to go even another level up, I could do some form of gradient. But, yeah, point is, um, my next mega build, which I'm actually planning out in my head right now, um, just a very early idea, uh, maybe to date. I want to make it my largest project so you know we have this building and we have the entirety of the dome we have that skyscraper we just built that recently i wanted to beat all of these and actually i originally wanted this somewhere in this area or this area next to the dropper but actually i've decided that that is not enough room um right there is not neither of those places big enough for what i want to do so i'm probably gonna have to <clears throat> end up expanding somewhere i'm either expanding that way or that way probably not that way or that way but that's all you know um in the planning process for now i just spent a few hours just getting all the materials hey everybody so last clip i think i collected all that deep slate right well now i'm putting it to work so let me kind of just give you guys a quick <laughs> Um, snapshot of what I'm doing here because I'm kind of going at lightning speed, not really talking while I'm doing things. But um, like I said, I want to do a mega base, um, another one. I like my dome. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I want to try something different. And instead of black, so I want to try with this deep slate stuff because there's so much, you know, I think it's a slightly better color and better texture. So here's what I did. If you guys remember, and maybe I'll be able to show you a world before this. But right over there, it was just planes, just like all of this, like right here. It literally looked like just like right here. It was just planes, water pockets. Um, so basically what I did is I chose this area for my next, um, let's just say that kind of like big project here. 
Now, there was a couple options I was debating. I was debating right here, but then I didn't want to get too close to my raid farm. I was debating right here, but then I didn't want to remove this hill because this hill has kind of grown special on me as like Animal Hill. Um, I don't want to go over there or back there because of the large buildings in the way. And then I don't want to go that way because it's too far. And I did not want to touch these mountains. If you guys see this little area in the mountains, that place is sacred for me. And I genuinely think I will never build in this area. I'm just going to leave it the way it is as it's one of the last semblances of normal Minecraft terrain in my area. And I really like this area. So basically that just left right there. And honestly, it was perfect. It's a giant plane. It's very easy to demolish and move. So I said, okay, um, that's where I go. So I've spent the past couple days just mining it out. Now, I do want to make this a very large build. And you could see with some of the deep slate bricks, I'm laying out the foundation of how this building is going to look like. Now, there's a lot of things I'm going to fix. Like, I don't really like that line right there. Um, but here's my inspiration, right? And this is a build that I really, really like. So if we go to Hermitcraft Season 8, I really like this base. Now, I know... I will never be able to do it how he does it. Um, he and plus his is like a factory. I don't, I'm not really going for the factory look, but I want to go for this blocky large building design. Um, it's completely solo, but if you guys are wondering my inspiration, that is my inspiration. And, you know, by inspiration, I mean, that's kind of like the block palette I'm going for the large uh, cube sections of the building. And you can kind of already see that. But as you can see with my current layout, it is also completely different. It is not anywhere near the same. So, um, but I'm definitely going to be building this in the, you know, just build it type attitude. I'm not going to plan. I'm not going to go creative. I'm just going to build it. Um, and right now I'm just slowly mapping out parts of the building and I'm going to keep adding on to it again this is supposed to be one massive factory type building so hey everybody so we're back I'm just going to give you guys a quick little progress update because I've been working for maybe three or four hours now let me go ahead and uh, increase my render distance and let me show you guys what I have done so far so this is where I've gotten to currently just a little bit of planning um, so we have the main square I raised that to I forgot how many it's like three blocks and that was like 20 times so like probably around 60 blocks so it's going to be our main portion of the base and then um i did a little bit of work on some of just to kind of get an idea of what i want to do with these um and then i have three kind of pillars planned back there um this one the highest then a little lower a little lower um yeah this is what i got so far and let me give you guys a quick cut like a little bit of a closer look a lot of these uh, peripheral pillars will be made out of the deep slate tiles, but the main body itself is made out of the uh, the bricks, the polished, and the cobble. So deep slate tiles are peripherals, and then the bricks, the deep slate, and yeah, the polished deep slate, the cobbled, that's going to make up this portion. So I'm still kind of working on it. Um, like I said, this is one of those projects where I am, I'm basically going to go about it as I go. Um, as I have ideas, I'm going to expand. Um, I'm going to try to start simple and then develop details. So right now my main body is a giant square, but as I go, I'm going to be adding things like this. I'm going to start putting in windows. I'm going to start putting in pillars. I'm going to do, um, putting holes and designs and different things. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these things, build up a very general shape like I'm doing here. And the detail will come after because I guess I want I want to do something different, right? That face first base I did in one day. This uh, dome, I did it in a couple days, but it even those couple days I did it in like three four days, you know. I want this one to take much much longer, you know. In just basically a day and a half, I did what we have here in just like, you know a couple hours between school. But I really want this one to be a lot more than that. I want it to be something bigger. And if it totally flops, then whatever. I'm going to keep living in that one. And this will be what it is. I'll just leave it here as like a decoration. But hey everyone, time for yeah. a little update. I've been doing a lot more work. So you could probably notice a bunch of the changes here. And I actually totally forgot what I showed you last. But um, I started working on a couple things. Again, I totally forgot what I showed you. But 
you could probably just notice the differences. I added three pillars in the back so you can see their different heights just to give a little bit of depth. I just finished doing this little cube. I have this little window area here and then I'm going to have another big window area there. So yeah, as far as a big general outline, I think so far so good to be honest. I actually didn't think it would turn out very good and so far, I mean, it's very, very rudimentary. And I've still got a lot of places to go. I still got to do that portion and that portion, that portion, that little portion. We got a few in the back. And obviously, I'm leaving all of it uh, roofless because the roof is actually what I'm going to do last. Um, the roof is going to tie it all together and I still actually don't know what I'm going to do for the roof. But um, yeah, anyway, a little progress update. There you go. All right, everyone. So time for another little update. And once again, bam, here's a snapshot of what my... Uh, new base potentially uh, looks like so I've literally got a bunch of deep slate in my inventory I think I'm gonna go work on uh, getting a couple more loops into there and I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do right here And then I have to figure out a few things with this um, But this is what it looks like currently now I'll just explain this a little bit Originally, I was just gonna have this triangle right there and just stop it but then I just, I got hit with a little bit of inspiration. And what if I just add another triangle on top of the triangle? So that's what I did. And I tried to line it up as best I could. I did, you know, a one, two pattern there. And then a, I think a one, two, two, one, two, two pattern there. And ended up kind of, I, I suck at geometry, but that's kind of what it looks like there. And uh, I've, I've added two boxes there. Um, but let me give you guys also, where's my, yeah. Maybe you guys maybe let me fly around a little bit get a little closer here um also might give you guys a better uh you know thought of as far as the scale of this because it is pretty big like you could look at um <clears throat> that's my current base there and then this would be my new one so it's probably i mean again this is not even close to done it, it'd probably be around four times as big um maybe more because I am <clears throat> still working back here. I'm going to remove this river and add more over here. Um, obviously, things have to be done right here. I have a whole entrance to build. And um, along all of that is all of the internal sections, which are um, <clears throat> pretty massive. But yeah, so I'm still working. Um, again, all of this is still the general outline. A lot of these things look a little funny from different angles, which I kind of have to fix. Like, it looks really good from, like, this angle and far away. It looks a little funky from, like, over here. But, um, <clears throat> either way, a floor is going to go into here because what my plan is is to put a floor in, like, right there and then have windows all along as, like, a basically a overdone viewing area. Hey, everyone. So, another little progress update, and I think... I might have done a little bit too much building without a progress update. I don't remember what I did last, but uh, I think I did quite a bit more than... Um, I don't know if I showed you guys these extending all the way to sky limit. So that pillar right there is now to sky limit. The new 1.18 uh, sky limit, you could tell because I have another building over here um, that I just extended to sky limit. It, it was like there and I, I pushed it all the way up. Uh, but yeah, so I knew for a fact that I wanted a piece of this base at Sky Limit. I never had a build my base at Sky Limit. So I thought this was a good idea. So I built that Sky Limit. I made both of these taller, obviously, so it looks all right. And then um, I built these two right there because I didn't realize what I was doing. But now I'm kind of just going with the flow of, um, oh, crap. Uh, I need to sleep. Um, so you guys can see like the little triangle. Um, I wasn't trying to do that, but it almost reminds me of like uh, stonks. You feel me? Like you got like a bunch of like uh, pad uh, rectangles going up, and then you've got you know a kind of a line. So I guess the base is now a stonk base. Um, I did, totally didn't mean to do that, but I do like kind of. And like I said from the beginning, this base was completely you know um, on the fly. You know. So basically I built that and then I, you guys know I built the little Dorito up in the sky here and then I finished this portion right here. I'm going to have some decorative piece in there. I put in all of the glass. I put in all the glass here 
and then I I don't know if this was there I think it was I added another square there I removed that then I'm planning to put a couple more small squares in those spaces I'm gonna do something with the front and then very very soon I'm going to have to start putting on roofs on all of these um, oh another thing I, I changed was I did add in these layers right here so like the middle portion inside of there and then the middle portion inside of here I did put in um, the back sides are still hollow and you guys will see that there so this is still hollow um, all of these are hollow in the back still but um, yeah so that is the big update on the base like I said I've been working for another like five six probably more hours than that but I'm just gonna guess five to six hours hey guys so another minor update this time I didn't do as much work as the time before really the only changes are um, I put in a bunch of the roofs in uh, all of the little squares and I have an idea of how I want to move forward because really the hardest part of this entire process was what I was going to do with the roofing. The roofing was driving me absolutely nuts because the roof really puts the building together and I wanted to do something very creative and fancy and I wanted to be a master builder but I think I've just come to the conclusion that I'm not and that I need to do something more utilization and ease based right. So I'm not going to put some big fancy roof on each of these. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a helicopter pad style thing on every single one of these roofs because I want to make sure this base is um, easily accessible with Elytra and every part of it. That's my main gripe with this building currently. There, See, I tried doing that, a, a form of Elytra ease. But I never really ended up using them and I've only used the front door so if I'm back there I have to basically drive all the way around but this one what I'm gonna do on every single one of these buildings I'm gonna put a helicopter some you know a helicopter pad I'm using symbolically but I'm gonna be put, putting some form of hole and landing pad so that way whatever is in each of these buildings I'll be able to access through my elytra so that's the plan right now. No big fancy roof. What I'm going to do is create some form of hole. I'm going to make it look nice, obviously, just so if this is my main storage area, I can just whoop, fly in. If I want to go here, I just fly in, fly in, fly in. You know, I can just fly in everywhere. Um, and I think the only door that I'll have is maybe right here. And I think the rest of them will either be accessible um, through, you know, through some uh, pathways I make inside the building and through the holes in the top. Oh, and I don't know if I showed this, but I also did finish um, this side too. So the structure itself is basically done here. So you can see, that, bam, so you can see all of them. The tops are covered and the backs are done too. There is only a single place, well, well, there's a couple places that aren't completely done. Obviously the window areas, um, I'm still trying to figure out so right there. I'm still figuring out right there I'm trying to figure out. I gotta figure out what I want to do with the roof here And the only other place that's not done is this side of the triangle right here So I'm gonna go ahead and put a finish up this last wall And then one thing that's gonna change I'm gonna be putting a lot of windows a lot of places So obviously these are solid masses the triangles is a giant giant mass I'm gonna be sticking in windows and also the triangle I will have to do a little bit of contouring because obviously that doesn't look perfect um so I'm gonna I will kind of be edging this out a little bit to try to make it look a bit neater but that is what I have going on so um yeah and again man, this thing is massive you just look at my fall I'm, I'm still falling I'm not even out of my base yet um yeah, I will show you guys when I have some more progress. Okay, everybody. So I'm not sure what I did since last time, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a lot just because I want to get started on the first project of this building. So here's the deal. Basically, the only reason I even built this was because I was getting frustrated with the old base here. The fact that in my storage system, I had no way to um, have an auto sorter, right? Because I made the mistake of putting stuff directly on the left and the so right. So the problem here is if I wanted to have separate, you know, hopper systems to go to each of these, I couldn't really do that because the hoppers would be right on top of each other. Meaning 
the hopper below it would drag the item down, meaning I technically can't item sort with this inventory system, even if I had space up top and to the side. So that's really my main gripe with this entire base was, you know, I built this as like a next gen base, but is it really next gen if I don't have an automatic item sorter? You know what I'm saying? So in this new build, that gives me more than enough space and, a, you know, like a fresh palette to create a brand new storage system. So here's what I'm thinking, right? And I, like I said, with the whole helipads up top, I'm still going to do that, but I'm just not going to do it right now. I'm kind of done with building. Now I just want to, you know, put something in. So what I'm going to do is the inventory system is going to be in this big building right here. And all of the, you know, item sorters are probably going to end up being in one of these buildings. I was thinking the tallest one, obviously up top, I'm going to save, I'm going to put like a build up there, but you know, throughout the middle, I can have item sorters or honestly it's right behind. I might add the item sorters in one of these, but point is I'm going to start adding chests in the middle and then I'm going to build some item sorters. Um, very, very simple item sorters that you see in basically every single one of my builds, the best um, example of one of the item sorters would be, um, these ones just cause I have them exposed here. So you can see each of these is a separate item sorter. So this one separates iron, this one separates pupper fish and on and on. So what I'm going to do in that big old building, I'm going to build basically this, but I'm going to have it even tighter, um, and all that. But I think the first thing that I'll start with is I'm going to, well, act, I already did some pre-work to this. I made a bunch of hoppers. Um, I think next I need to make a bunch of chests first before I build the actual sorting system. I should probably lay out the actual, you know, inventory itself. Where am I going to put all the items and stuff like that? So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Okay, everybody, I did do some progress on the new auto sorter, but you know what? It's a gigantic project that might take just as long as the build itself so far. So I just wanted to give you guys another quick look at it from a distance. We're going to take a look at two other things that I'm currently working on. And we'll probably end the episode off here in just a couple of minutes. So if you guys, what it currently looks like, that is the view from here. It's pretty massive. Um, but let me go ahead and turn that back down. Let me show you guys what I've been working on just on the meanwhile, just on the down low. Um, we got a spore blossom room, so you guys know in the new update, spore blossoms were introduced. These are little flowers that spawn on top of, uh, you know, the cave ceilings, and they have little particle effects, and I think they're amazing and super cool. So, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of fascinated with them, so I made a whole room just for spore blossoms. This is how many I've collected so far off of cave roofs. Um, yeah, so this is my spore blossom room, and I shall continue adding spore blossoms so I can get the most particles I humanly can and then the other project that i've been working on is a drip leaf game now i think man you guys are gonna kill me but i totally forgot who this was inspired by it was probably cub fan but it might have been ren dog i don't think it was tango tech drip leaf game right so i one of the hermits had a huge game where they had uh, a drip you know the drip leaves in the sky just like this so that's what I'm currently working on. Um, I set a giant boundary from around right here to all the way over here. Um, when I was originally looking at where to build this, I kept looking around my entire world and that just fit perfectly. That is about the size that I wanted and I had a little empty spot right there. Um, I was thinking maybe right there, but I didn't want to block the wall. I didn't want to go any you know farther in. I didn't want to really build it over there or over there. So this just ended up being the perfect spot. So I made a perimeter, I set down some drip leaf and I started growing. So if you guys don't know to get the drip leaf this high, you just have to put the drip leaf on the ground and then you have to bone meal it and it grows one for every single bone meal. So it's just a very, very long process of bone mailing each one. I think I've made it where each one is 64. So a stack of bone meal, the tedious part of giving a stack of bone meal to every single drip leaf in this perimeter. And um, yeah, I'm about, a little under halfway done yeah this is one that i messed up here i got to take down and replant um but yeah this is also something i've been working on and hopefully i'll have it maybe done by next episode we'll see obviously this is a single player so i can't really play with anyone i can't like you know have like a snowball fight in here but um 
yeah, um, that is something else that I've been working on. But guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Like I said, we're probably running a little shorter than usual, but um, the next project, which is the auto sorter, is going to be absolutely massive considering I want to sort every single item in the game. That's a couple hundred. So um, we're going to work on that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And I couldn't make it to the floor. God bless. And goodbye.